Hi everyone, this week, very exciting project Mark and I have got. We are working on a gorgeous van, which is a famous van now because it belongs to the Rolling Rocks. This, Hello. Is, this is Stuart. Hi. Done an amazing job in this build. I Thank love the you. van. Thank you. And it's going to get even better now because we're here. <laughs> That's right. We're we going to the... blue fix it. Yeah, we're we are. Going to have to put the heart into our, our machine. Yeah. It's going to, yeah, bring it into life now. We've got a whole load of blue stuff in here. Victron Multi Plus. Distributor, battery protect, servo, shunt, screen, two Orions, and an MPPT, and a whole box full of switches, isolators, and all the safety bits. But yeah, excited. It's going to be a couple of days, hopefully, yeah. no more. <laughs> I think they're getting up to Scotland, don't you? Yeah, straight to Scotland. Test it, test it all out. Wow. No pressure. No pressure, man. No. <laughs> all right. We'll see you soon. This is the garage space we've got to work with. We're going to be mounting most things onto this board here. A few things on that board back there. But yeah, just trying to choose the layout right now. The multiplus is quite nice here. Cables will come out the bottom onto the, hopefully the consumer unit will fit on that side there. Um, distributor and the shunt, I'm thinking there. We've got two big Eco Tree batteries coming in here. And I'm, Mark's just gone to get the measurements for it to make sure that we can get it in there and still have things mounted on this wall. Thinking the shunt, the distrib distributor, and two Orions there. I think the servo. The MPPT solar charge controller and the servo will have to go on that wall. Uh, don't know yet. It's got a battery battery protector going as well. We'll see. So we brought the board into the workshop. It makes it a lot easier to work like this. Um, this is how we're going to do it. We've decided to get rid of the distributor because there's just not enough space. So we're going to have it all mounted like this. We're going to have some blue ducting in the middle there to hide all the cable in. Multiplice is going to be bolted to this board. It's just when you're working with confined spaces, sometimes you just, it's just a bit hard to choose a layout, but I think we've got there now. So we're fitting two Orions on this van so that it's going to potentially charge up to 60 amps. So what we do, we fit, cut a couple of big holes behind them. Can I borrow that, Mark? Yeah. And we fit these beastie fans behind the board, blowing air into the back of these fins on the back of this Orion. The cooler these are, the more efficient they are. If they get hot, then they don't start. To, they don't put very much in, while they can go down to maybe only 10 amps, 15 amps, if they get really hot. So having some fans cooling them, that helps, doesn't it, mate? Makes a big old difference. Here we have a look in its <laughs> home environment. <laughs> this is it's I'm getting interesting now, and he's trying to make sure that everything is lined up. This is what I'm. <laughs> I'm going crazy, but this is this is what I'm doing. Like this I managed to get perfectly central to that one. This shunt, I'm trying to get it down here, but perfectly in the middle of this. Well, I don't know, people, what do you think? Comment. No, it is, it is. <laughs> it's not, it's perfectly central. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, stop it. No, nah, it looks good, it looks good. You're doing my OCD. Right, anyway, I'm, I didn't realize I had OCD, but I'm just trying to get this shunt. That's where it's got to go this way. Yeah, I think we're almost, almost there. I'm gonna fix these screws are eight centimeters from the bottom. No, I'm gonna go like that. I think that looks good. What do you think, Mark? I think it looks good. I can't really back here. Oh, I don't know, that gap. The gap between the shunt and the fuse yeah. box. I know, but then this fuse box isn't in line with that, right? Right. Yeah. Oh, you have to let it slide, mate. I'm gonna have to leave that gap. Yeah, we, we need it. We need to bring. We need a gap for the cables. The cables come out there yeah. on, on the trunk. In can't all be about aesthetics. It has to be sometimes function more than. Mm -hmm. No, I think it looks yeah. smart. This is quite interesting. This is the back of the board, and you can see the fans that we fitted. We're also fitting two positives and two negative bus bars back here. Reason is we've got uh, we're using isolated battery battery chargers so the customer has already put the uh, 35 mil cables in to feed both the orions so we're going to have a positive and a negative bus bar for both the orions to feed off and a positive and negative bus bar for the main system as normal but i thought that looked quite smart even though it's not going to be seen it's going to look quite smart back here too this is where we're up to at the minute i've added, I've added a little section on, on the end here for breakers and fuses but this is where we are. Obviously we've got the cover off of the uh, MultiPlus right now. It's gonna look so good. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this looks in, at the end. End of day one. We're getting somewhere, aren't we? 
We are cold. It is getting cold now. What time is it? Is that six? Yeah, yeah getting there. But yeah, that's looking very smart. Let me show them. Show them. Mm -hmm. On the end of this wheel arch box, and we've got it's gonna have the main consumer unit, mega fuse for the inverter. Around the back, we haven't tied it up yet. This is all gonna be like zip tied and pinned to the wall, and but yeah, very happy, very happy with how it's going. I think the customer will be happy. I think they'll be happy. Yay! Good morning, day two on this job. We've just been to buy a load of brackets for Unistrut because on the top of this van. They have put a load of Unistrut rails, you can probably just about see them there. And we're fitting four 175 panels, four of these, so that's over 500 watts of solar. And we're mounting them directly to the Unistrut with these some brackets, we bought some nuts and bolts as well. So that is today's job, it's looking great though. Do you think it looks good Mark? I think it looks pretty. It's going to look great once we get all the covers on, put it all in place. I want to tidy up all the back as well. Clip all these cables together against the, the wall as well. Just saying, we've got four solar panels to fit maybe today or tomorrow. Yay! Um, but it should be nice and easy with the Unistrut bars. Oh, on the survey to do today. Anyway, let's talk more work. Get on with it. After quite a bit of fiddling around, solar panels are on the roof. This is 700 watts of solar. Had to do quite a lot of fiddling around with all the Unistrut on there, but managed to get it work. I'm jealous, that's a lot of solar. Not many choices in this garage space for the batteries because they're so huge. So we're going here. It is next to a water tank, but these are sealed boxes. And the terminals are gonna be covered. So, yeah, I'm just going to make some batten, put it around the battery so they don't slide around. Ideally, get some straps as well on them. That's where they're going. Mark's doing an amazing job on this main stuff. It's, it's looking pretty neat. Look at what he's done around the back. Put it all in conduits. Correct. What are these plugs called? Uh, Wago 770s. Wago 770s. And it's got labels on them all. Looking very smart. I've tied it up around the back here a little bit. You have to excuse the noise, we've got a diesel heater running. I've kind of, this is all going to be hidden. This is the wheel arch boxing. But I've still kind of clicked it things together. Even though it's going to be hidden, it's going to look very smart. I'm gonna put it in the put it in the van in a second. What time is it? Six o'clock. Six o'clock, day three. It's taking a bit longer. Sorry. Anyway, we're almost there. Mark's still trying to set up things like the servo and whatnot. But here we are. Mark's casting our shadow. And the new batteries arrived today as well. So they've got six hundred and forty. Amp hours of Eco Tree Lithium. They are beastie batteries. <laughs> what did he say? Multi plus two, three thousand KVA. I want to know what he said. Twin Orions. These Orions are both fan cord, as you saw earlier. Got labels on them Orion A, Orion B. Let me reach in there. Um, a fake. Certificate about 10 years younger. <laughs> Got labels on all the fuses and solar isolation there as well. Shunt fuse box, battery protect. Just got a few more tests to do. We haven't tested the Orions yet and the fans for the relay. Yeah, I've spent the day today doing like all the. Oh, yeah, a few it. tests. So I know where everything's going. And then we can let these people go. <laughs> They're off trying to go to Scotland. And we're holding you up, aren't we? No, it's fine. It's got to be done right, haven't it? Well, it has. That's it. Um, we've been messing around with the bobble system as well. They've got a bobble water heating system in here as well. 